Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. And you might you think I forgot, you guys. It is Friday night after a long, yucky week. And I was just playing, trying to get inspired, which I think I did. So, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> In a, you know, in a creative rut, I guess. Like everybody has those times. Um, let's make sure. I tried to film this and I was really off. I'm working on actually three different books. There, I, th I think I, I know one of them's listed in this cover. They're all going to be pretty much the same inside. And this cover. I know I took a picture of this, and the picture just doesn't look as pretty as this. She's not as yellow. I mean, that's creamy color, but... So they're all just fun. Fun books. So, what I was doing is... As I was in my little... I don't know what you want to call it. Whatever, life. <laughs> I, um... I was watching a lot of videos, so I was found my crayons again, these classic crayons, and I started playing with them. I was watching like a hundred videos, and I was just doing some different. Um, I love the the look. Let's see, did I do another? One? I thought I did another one. Yeah, just the layered look with different, um, just different things on it. So I was playing with that, and let's see, let's just pick a page and work on this. I should take my pink, my pink work sweater off. Not a good idea to do inking. So how's everybody else doing? We're on our 100th day of rain, I think. I, I think that's what's ticking everybody off. It's cold and rainy and just... Ugh. So anyway... So we're just going to use my crayons. I think I finally figured out <laughs> how they're used. We're going to glue this down. I did write a lot of things down that inspired me. So I'm hoping this weekend I got the rest of my orders to get out. And then next week, I'll be starting fresh. Fresh ideas. Not, I mean, not that they're different. They're just probably, um, let me say, rekindled. Rekindled. And I was... Finally found a video, and I don't remember which one it was, because I watched so many of how to use these correctly. Or I forgot how to use them. I don't know. But it was just so simple and just so... I love the effect it had. And maybe because I didn't have to think. See how cool that is? Pretty cool. And then just to... I really like that layered effect. And, and it seems to me that I can control the pen a little better than I can the ink. Maybe because I go too fast. Say it isn't so. And then what I'm what color am I using? Walnut stain. In this color. We want the shadow because I really want it to get in it. And just by wetting my finger, I guess you could do it with a paintbrush, but ah, why bother? I like that. 
And then you can kind of because it activates with the water, so. I like that, like that. And then if I wanted to, if I wanted to build up the page, maybe I would stamp, maybe, let's see. I did some fussy, I've been all over the place. Fussy cutting on the couch, sitting with my husband watching 1960, I think it was 1960, um, series The Saint with Roger Moore. Oh my god. Those are old. Those are came up before I was born. No, I was just born. That's what my husband said. So this one is Antique Linen. And I just want to soften up this flower. And then I think I want to actually maybe put a little more. And then they can you can just sew over this. I like the smaller writing. Actually, I think. All right, now there's a bigger area, so I'll give my finger a break and just kind of wet my brush. My husband, or my son is working for Mother's Day, so we're really not doing anything Mother's Day. And my husband asked me what I wanted to do because we'll um, celebrate with the kids Monday. And um, I found this little antique shop. Well, it's a big one actually, and it's actually open. So I'm excited to go there. So go to breakfast, and then we'll hit an antique store, and maybe I'll even get more inspired. Let's do this, and let's do one of Tina's. Shibby dibby doo da. I like the. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can. I can ink it when I put it down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on, probably be a late night, I'm going to put on some of my shows that, like, I think it's SVU, Law & Order should be on, Chicago PD should be on, The hand, hand, ugh, Handmade Tales, and my favorite, General Hospital. So I can have a night of movies to keep me company. As I get inspired. Or just might turn the lights off and go to bed and watch TV in bed. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I like that little pop of color. I really do like that. Not if we wanted to. I'd really wet down the gesso just to just to put a sheen over this. Or not a sheen, a coating to fade up the words a little, I guess. Because I'm not using clear. This is actually the white one. I don't know, it just gives it another aged look. 
But if I want to go over it again, I will. When it dries. Or I can use paint. Or I can use... Ooh, you know what I can use? <laughs> Let's see. Antique linen. Let's put a little drop in my gesso. I do have it down here. There, I like that. So I just put a little drop of antique linen and some white gesso. And it gave me that creamy look I was looking for. So I should go back to this one. And do it up here. Perfect. I can see this is going to be a thick book. But it's going to be pretty because then I'll put them. Oh yeah, that just kind of added the right color I needed. Well, this is avoca avocado dyed paper, so it's got a little pink hue to it as it is. That's, that's good. That's good. So that's what I've been playing with. And then I did... Let's see what I do with it. She was actually... I did her on my lunch hour. <laughs> I didn't have any crayons, but I just had ink. But now that I have the crayons, let's see what we can do. And she's adorable, too. And if we need, we can get a... Baby white out. And then I got the little gesso with the antique linen. This is um what is this called? Like a palette palette little palette paper. So it's got a waxy finish, so I can just use it, use it until it gets yucky, and then I just came like in a pack of um I don't know, 50 pages, I think. Does anybody out there know how to use blendable overlays? I have searched and searched YouTube today and Google of just how you use them. What do you do with them? Do you print them on vellum? It's digital kit. Do you print them on vellum? Do you, I, I don't know. I don't. I've never used them. I love them. The looks of them. They're pretty roses. I mean, different ones. Has anybody? I'm asking for help. Anybody ever use them? Or how do you use them? What is the correct way? I should say, and then I'll go from there. It just. I don't know. It just. I can't find anything on it. I know it's got, I'm just not using the right words, apparently. They're blendable overlays. <clears throat> but you could really get, I'd like the shadow in that you could just put where you want it. This darkens it up. And then I'll probably put like a pad of paper up here or something. And this is nice and rough, so I'll put a lot there. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day. I said, oh joy. Poor rhubarb sitting on my counter because he wants to go outside. 
but it's been down to the 30s at night, so that ain't going to happen. So that's, like I said, then I'll do something. This paper is so pretty. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm playing with. Let's do a little black. Let's get daring. What could happen? If we just wipe it off. Woo! Alright, let's wipe it off here. It scares me. <laughs> yeah. That's not, oh, this, I like that. Alright, let's get daring again. Over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Too daring, too daring. <laughs> I could cover it up. I don't know why I'm worried about it. Let's try it again. Let's push the envelope. I don't usually use black. Ooh. Ooh. Let's take that off. <laughs> Alright, I think my daring, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. I think that would probably look nice. Yeah, like that. Alright, I better start playing my head. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? See? Oh, let's try gray. I didn't try gray yet. Let's give it a shadow. Ooh, that's dark. Oh, hickory smoke. Now, I have these, and I haven't used them, and so what do I do? I go and order another set, because I didn't have green. So, they'll be here tomorrow, so I can play some more. So, that's how addicted, because I haven't bought any craft supplies in, like, maybe a week. <laughs> so, okay, I think that's good. And then I would put, I mean, there's just different elements on this, and this will go in... I think I'll put it in this book because this is tending to be more on the grungy side. So, oh, look at face. Alrighty, guys, I think that's it for now. I don't know how much you want to watch me using distress crayons. It's not the most exciting. So, oh, I'll glue this down and then I'll go. So maybe I will pop in tomorrow. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping to get out of this funk because it's it's not very healthy and it's not very fun. But I think everybody needs a break every now and then. So let's just do a little. Let's see what the brown looks like on here. Not bad, but not really. Oh, I just picked that right off. So we got a rough spot, but that's okay. Then by the time I add a little lace, a little this and that, it'll look, I will like it. Well, I like it now. Let's see if I add a little cheesy cloth. Hey guys, so I hope you have just a nice weekend. I'm sure I'll be back. There. Yeah. Yeah, we just need some more texture and stuff. 
So, alrighty. So I will. I'll be back eventually this weekend, and we'll see you soon. So be safe, stay positive. As hard as it is, we got a lot to look forward to. We right, right. <laughs> And, um, oh yeah, that's cute. <laughs> and we will see you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.